Hello YouTube, the Jersey Shark here. I apologize, it's uh, been a while. It's just I've been focusing on uh, on selling a bunch of uh, TCG stuff and getting into another trading card game, but I wanted to do a mail day. I was just waiting for some packages to arrive. Not all of them that I wanted to arrive did arrive, but um, regardless, I'm going to do this video anyway. And then probably within another week or so, I'll be doing another... Um, uh, mail day video. I don't know if I showed this in a video or not, but uh, I finally found this one rookie card I was looking for a long time. I remember, I remember my dad got this for me at a jewelry store years ago. It's a Ben Roethlisberger rookie card, which originally did not come in a one touch, but I put it in a one touch, and I'm glad I have this. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm glad I found this. And now what I'm going to try to do and is uh, find Roethlisberger rookie autos. I don't have any Roethlisberger autos, but oh man, I cannot wait for all my, uh, all my Donruss stuff to come in the mail. I joined three of four Donruss, um, case breaks from Cali Cards. Uh, I couldn't join the fourth because, uh, yeah, kind of spent too much. <laughs> and then, uh, in another Facebook group I'm in, uh, SNG Sports, uh, did a... That's actually what I'm going to start off with this mail day, is I did, they had these like gold packs for $10, and uh, seven of them, I think it was like seven of them had a redemption. I was lucky enough to get a redemption, and my redemption was for the Texans and Bengals in a half case break of uh, uh, Donruss. So, first I'm going to show everything I got from that pack. And then I'll show everything I got from the case break. So everything, what like if if you did get a hit, it wasn't anything crazy. And then what were in the packs is rookies and whatnot. So for instance, I have a uh, I think this is a rookie card of um, David Carr. Then we have this uh, Kaepernick card, which made me, made me laugh. <laughs> um, Daniel Jones rookie, which I, I was like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. I think he's going to be good for the Giants. People will think I'm crazy, but... Uh, here we have a... Oh, that's a cool-looking uh, Mark Pryor card. Oh, that is numbered. Cool. Uh, 301 of 399. I, don't know, I remember him. Um, Elfried Payton, that's 93 of 199. It's my lucky number 11, so I thought that was uh, pretty cool. It's just like a, uh, Drew Holiday card. I don't know what they call these, but it's from Panini Threads. I guess jersey number, uh, card. Kind of has, I think, like a canvas t texture to it from the looks of it. I don't think you can see that on camera through the, uh, top loader. And then... Clinton Port oh Clinton Portis I remember him wow okay that's actually pretty cool nice neat old school uh, 2000s card and then I unfortunately did not get any autos it's kind of hoping for a Finley auto but I did get a nice numbered Finley card and I guess these are like my inserts and whatnot so we have a uh, Deshaun Watson Drew Sample Ryan Finley, Lonnie Johnson Jr., J.J. Watt, I missed the T.J. Watt, another Lonnie Johnson, Drew Sample, I think that's a uh, 99 throwback of Andy Dalton, those cards look pretty cool, can't wait to see the Steelers ones I get, Watson, Watson Sample, Finley, DeAndre Hopkins, A.J. Green, Bengals logo card. That's a cool uh, insert. Sorry if you hear the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, TV in the background. I'm watching MLB Network. Even though baseball has been horrible for my Pirates. Elite Series rookies. And, oh, cool. So that's what the Canvas card uh, rookies look like. Awesome. 
I was hoping to get a um, Devin Bush rookie auto because I still don't have one. And uh, yeah, of the three, three of the four case breaks that happened, well, three of the case breaks that happened, no Devin Bush auto, but I did get a very nice auto, uh, super short printed too. So I can't wait to show that when it gets in the mail. And uh, we'll see what case four has, even though I don't have the Steelers. And then I have this uh, press proof 450 uh, Ryan Finley. Not sure what I'm gonna do with those cards, but hey, I can't I can't complain about uh getting in a free break. Um, I guess we'll do soccer. Uh, no, we'll save soccer for last because it's a lot. Uh, yeah, no uh, hockey in this, unfortunately. I don't even know what the I think the last hockey break I was in was uh, that eighteen nineteen SP authentic where I got where I was lucky enough to get this uh, triple auto. This is one of those cards that I probably will never get rid of, unless I really, really am desperate for money. But, it's a beautiful card. And then here's basically everything from almost all the Topps Chrome uh, breaks I was in. I only got one numbered card, and I've been in, I want to say almost 10 case breaks. Uh, so this is from Cali Cards. I actually got this, um, I think cloth or something. Which was neat. I didn't know I was getting this. But, um... Yeah, there you guys go. There's the information. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um... I know uh, David's trying to really uh, push uh, for his website now. All the breaks used to be uh, filled up on Facebook. Now he's pushing more for the website. That way, you know, guys like me can help him advertise. Or, I mean, just spread the word. Not really advertise, but just spread the word. And that way, when he wants to run coupon coupon specials and whatnot, he can do that. And then I know he's also working on, like, a rewards program for the website. I've been, um... I don't know how many years it's been since I've done breaks with uh, David. And then there's another David, actually, that I uh, break with, and that's uh, Boca Breaks. But yeah, this is my only numbered card. A Polanco, uh, Polanco Purple out of 299. And then Bell Refractor, Marte Refractor, Tyon Refractor, Moran Refractors. And then we have the X Refractors, I think those are called. And then more Polanco Refractors. Nick Kingham Future Stars, who was DFA'd by both the Pirates and the uh, Blue Jays. Blue Jays picked him up, but they uh, DFA'd him. And then here's a bunch of Kramer rookies. Of course, I'm saving the autos for last. I got more autos, autos than I thought I would. More Kramer. There's Birdie. Very unfortunate what happened with him with the injury. Same thing with Tyon. Sucks. Whole team sucks. Whole organization sucks. It's bad. It's rough being a Pirates fan. You know, you have cheap-ass nutting. <laughs> yeah, they, they should just fire the entire coaching staff. Especially Ray Serge. Sarich, however you say his last name. He was arguably the greatest pitching coach in the league. And then the past few seasons, he's just been garbage. Anyway, for autographs, only one Mitch Keller, sadly. I was kind of hoping to get more Mitch Keller. Uh, I think he actually is pitching tonight. <laughs> they finally called him up. It was so stupid. Uh, Huntington's uh, excuse as to why he's not called up. He's like... Oh, yeah, he has to uh, challenge the uh, bullpen for a... Uh, or, no, he has to challenge the pitchers for a spot in the rotation. And he has to be better than the other guys. I'm like, D -d does this guy not know how terrible our pitching's been? Give the guy a chance, and don't screw him up like you did with Glasnow. Also, stinks like Glasnow got injured for uh, Tampa Bay. But you guys know I'm a big Glasnow fan. Tampa Bay's my second team. But anyway, him and Meadows, I don't think anybody thought they'd be that good for the, uh, for the Rays. And then Archer, I expected better. I guess that was foolish of me, but... And then I'm sad Dickerson's gone. I hope he signs back in the, uh, in the offseason, but we'll see. Two Kramer autos, so far. I know there's more coming from, uh, my breaks with, uh, Boca breaks. And then here we have... Uh, Nick Birdie, interesting thing about his autograph is, is that he has a Bible verse on there. That's Prover Proverbs 1st 21 chapter, or chapter 
21 verse 31, I believe. And then um, one of my main PC guys, Kevin Newman. So I have two base and then one refractor. Yeah, that's my only refractor auto, I'm pretty sure. And that one's numbered 137 out of 499. I did finally get to see my Pirates in action against the Mets. That was a Saturday game, though. And Trevor Williams was pitching great up until, um, up until what was it, 6th or 7th? That's when the Mets really uh, came, out, came out swinging. Uh, this package here is actually from Hungary. Hungary. I think that's how you pronounce it. You think I'd remember. But yeah, I um, didn't pay for track uh, shipment with tracking with this one, and it came relatively fast, actually. I thought I would have to go pick this up at the post office because they would need a signature or something. And I was, and I, and I was kind of late with this payment, but... You know, the guy who bought this room was very nice and everything. I hate when I'm late with payments. It's just because of work and whatnot. But... Uh, this is going to add to my Gaia PC, so I'm really happy about that. And then, um, I'm waiting on more tops. <sighs> what break was it? Oh, Immaculate. I'm waiting for my other Immaculate stuff to come in. So I'm just going to open this without showing, uh, the guy's name. I want to be courteous, of course. Oh boy, tape. This is gonna be fun. Oh, nope, never mind. That was easy. So we do have some Chelsea cards in here, but the main... Main purchase of this was for, uh... The Gaia cards. So here we have a, uh, William. Number... Oh wow, I didn't even know this is number to 20. Damn. Number 9 of 20. He took Hazard's number and that upset a lot of fans. Uh, here we have uh, Marcos Marcos Alonso. That's numbered um, 92 of 99. And then we have three Gaia autos, one from Immaculate. So here's one from Donruss, which I was actually going to uh, get a box of for the channel. But here's a uh, Gaia from 1617. The newer Donruss, obviously. And then we have this cool uh, press-proof die cut of Gaia numbered 6 of 99 sound looks pretty cool I just realized this have MLB Network I could have just had the Yankees game on since they're a local team same with the Mets obviously and then we have this very nice 5 of 25 Gaia uh, patch auto from Immaculate so that's really nice and then the rest of this is going to be What should we call it? Top a lot of tops uh, Champions League Chrome breaks I was part of. It's kind of funny because a lot of the Valencia players in there that have autos are either on loan or not with the team anymore. So that's pretty funny. I'm gonna take these actually out of the team bags just because uh, it has my name on there, like my full name. But uh, let me uh. Plus, I want to separate these from the numbered cards and the autos. Yeah, I'm excited for La Liga to start. Hopefully, Valencia doesn't start the season off like Chelsea did, because that was horrible. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> anyway. Is this stuck? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I didn't want to sort this before the video. I probably should have. Let me get at least all the color set aside. And obviously when I do Immaculate, it's not going to be like this. Like, there's a lot of Santi Mina, Neto, um... Ruben Vezo, who's usually on loan. I don't think Rodrigo left, right? I think he's still with us, surprisingly. I thought he would be gone. Oh, wow, this is a bigger card than I thought it was. Wow. That's a pretty card. 
Yeah, not much really with Immaculate. But I did get an auto. I've been waiting a long time for it. Like, it's about time this guy gets an auto. It's funny how Keppa got an auto faster than Christensen, but... Very happy to finally have a Christensen auto in my collection. It's my favorite Chelsea player. Now that Louise is gone, I'm assuming he's going to get more time. We shall see. Alrighty. So that's all the numbered cards out of the way. Except for, don't tell me the one card that fell was... Was like the really short print one. Where'd it go? Oh boy. I'm a mess, aren't I? <laughs> oh, I know, it's right here. I'm dumb. Alrighty. So let's get all the base and insert out of the way. Or inserts out of the way. Could actually, I could have gotten more Champions League Chrome, but. Uh, it didn't feel like it. Not worth the risk, really. So, Rodrigo Refractor, Santi Mina, who's gone. Neto, Neto's gone. But I like, um... I like who we got to replace Neto. I forget his name. I think it's also with an A, though. <laughs> so, there's all that. Ruben Vezo. That's 144 of 150, 197 out of 250, 230 out of 250, Rodrigo 100 out of 150, this one's 48 out of 75. Oh, that's a blue wave, okay, I was going to say what was the difference. Santi Mino 156 of 250, 118 of 150, 241 of 250. And this Neto is 19 out of 75, another Mina Refractor. And we do have a Superstar Sensations of Santi Mina, numbered oop, 17 of 50. Uh, we have this Orange Rodrigo, numbered on 19 out of 25. That's pretty nice. And then this Santi Mina is numbered 24 of 25. And then what's really cool is I did get a red. It's not an autograph, but we have this uh, Neto here, numbered 9 of 10. Oh, I thought this was out of 5, actually. Still a pretty cool card. And then my three autos, which I'm not, like, too crazy about. But, eh, they're autos nevertheless. So we have a Ruben Vezo Refractor, and these are not numbered. Surprisingly, uh, we have a blue numbered, uh, bloop, bloop, numbered 99 out of 150, and then we do have a blue, ray, blue wave of Ruben Vezo numbered 57 to 75. I was hoping to get a Rodrigo auto, but that didn't happen, unfortunately. And then finally, for um, Immaculate. I have more Immaculates coming in the mail. I find it funny, it says 125 on the back there. We have a Gonzalo Higuain, numbered 62 of 65. Actually, the last card I'm not going to show is... Uh, the last card I'm going to show is not an autograph, but it's still awesome. Oh, we have this David Luiz, numbered 24 of 25. I think that's um, part of the uh, Carabo logo. Energy drink, I think that is. He's off to Arsenal. I'm actually happy about it. He's been a liability for uh, a few years now, so that's great. Whether he had tensions with Lampard or not, who knows. This I'm f so happy about. Finally. Andreas Christensen, auto. It's funny how it's his rookie card, even though he wasn't really a rookie last year. Obviously, he wasn't a rookie last year. But very happy that he finally has a, a rookie card. Uh, I hope he, he uh, yeah, hope he consistently uh, gets playing time. We'll see. I know defense was horrible the first game. You, you really cannot 
Oh, actually, yeah, you can pin, uh, pick out one guy, Zuma. Dumb penalty. And then we have a Chelsea legend to finish this off, a boot memorabilia of uh, Dieter Drogba. That's number 10 of 10. I'm actually going to take this out so we can take a closer look. I go to Toy Wiz, Toy Wiz this Friday, I'll probably get a uh, top loader big enough to hold this, but look at this chunky uh, card. Very nice. Not an auto, but still really awesome. And yeah, I'm gonna touch it. Wow, that, wow, that that really is like part of the boot. Jeez, squishy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that is going to do it for this video. I'm not, I know nothing crazy. Um, next, next, uh, what should we call it? Next mail day is probably gonna be crazier. Because I'll have all the cool uh, cards I got from uh, the Donruss breaks. I know a lot of people aren't crazy about uh, Donruss, but I may actually want to get a box and open it up for the channel. I think it's going to be a cheap, fun product. There's a lot of uh, parallels in there. You do get an auto and a mem card, which is nice. And, uh, yeah. Hockey-wise, we'll see. I'm very happy Jack Hughes signed with Upper Deck. That was a big relief, and for some reason, Kako signed with Panini, even though they don't make hockey cards. So I guess he's going to be part of, like, Panini promo packs and whatnot. We'll see. And, uh, you know, the National next year is Atlantic City. I would love to go to that, but I don't know if I can because, um, let's see, around this time next year, I'll probably be, uh, in Tampa. I'm going to go to the University of Tampa in a year for uh, sports management, so I'm really excited for that. And yeah. Uh, so, and then what I'm also doing right now is I'm um, like going through all my bulk and whatnot. And hopefully, hopefully I find some uh, PC cards I've been missing. And that's why I haven't done the hockey portion of my PC yet is because I'm, I want to find those cards. I love how my camera is like angled w weirdly apologize for that <laughs> but anyway so yeah as in, in terms of boxes i don't know i know i always liked opening retail products but even that then i don't know i might i might get like a blast or two of contenders draft picks that might be fun to open or i'm just gonna save up for a hobby box there's actually an x-men box i wanted to get off uh, da card world that's on sale for like 71 and I'd probably upload that on both my channels but I thought that'd be something fun to open and I do really love X-Men and I always wanted to get one of those cool Marvel boxes so uh, if it's still on sale by the end of the week I'll definitely pick one up and open that up and hope I get one of those one of one sketch cards but those look really fun uh, I was part of a uh, case break of uh, Undisputed WWE so that should be really fun uh, basically bought one spot in hopes of getting a particular particular Liv Morgan card, and I did, so can't wait for that to come in the mail. Summer sign was garbage, by the way. But oh man, Bray Wyatt, they better not mess him up. Because that is gold right there. <laughs> Very pissed off that uh, Orton didn't win the title. He should have won the title. But anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Oh yeah, and then Steelers... Uh, preseason, uh, first game, you know, secondary still garbage, everything else looks great, I'm not surprised with Washington, I knew he was going to be great, he's going to be solid number two, and Devin Bush looks awesome, I'm liking Gentry, uh, Justin Lane has a little work to do, but I mean, it's only one preseason game, and I'm, and Snell looks promising as well, I know a lot of people hate preseason, I actually like it. I like it for the roster battles, and then it's your first look at the rookies, so. You know, it's always exciting. Same thing with hockey preseason. Especially with the Devils this preseason. Uh, we'll see if uh, Bo Boquist, however you pronounce his last name. Let's see if he makes the team where he goes back to, uh, back to playing in Europe for one more season. And then let's see if Ty Smith actually makes the team or not. Personally, I'd rather him get one full year in the AHL before he gets called up, but man, it's going to be exciting, and I know I forgot to do a video on um, after the trade deadline, 
But what I'm pretty much going to do is like a whole free agency wrap up podcast episode uh, because there's a lot to talk about and I do want to talk about pretty much every signing heading into training camp and whatnot, which believe it or not, it's just around the corner. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you. Oh, that's weird. One of my sisters called and then hung up. That's why I was about to end the video abruptly, but I guess not. A little more of me rambling on then. All right. So yeah, like I said, I don't know when I'm going to buy Hobby Box next. Uh, what's nice is the locals I go to uh, Fridays for uh, to hang out with friends and play Card Fight Vanguard casually also sells Hobby Boxes, so it's probably where I'll get my boxes from. I've gotten a handful of them in the past, and that's uh, Toy Wiz up in Nanuit, New York. But uh, yeah. So that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.